1047 Kiss FM, and I am joined by the beautiful, the talented Olivia Lenny. Hi! Hello! All the way from Canada, right? Yeah, I am hanging out in Toronto right now. Awesome! Well, congratulations on your new song. It literally just dropped last night, so sad to see you happy is out now. If you're watching this interview when you're done, go look it up on all platforms, right? It's available everywhere. Yeah, everywhere you stream or watch your music. Um, there's actually a video out right now, too, so feel free to go watch okay. it. What a great Friday. I love that. Um, so how did this song come to fruition? Because I know you've been in quarantine. So how did this song come about? Yeah, so I actually wrote this song um, with the other people about I think probably like nine, nine or ten months ago. So quite some time ago. But um, it's really just about, I guess, exactly that being sad to see someone happy and see someone move on once you've been in a relationship with them. Um, but the ironic thing is, this is actually like the first time in my life I'm not in a relationship, <laughs> but definitely drew some inspiration uh, from, from some past heartbreaks. I love that. And I know that you are, a, a, in addition to being an amazing singer, you're a songwriter as well. So can you explain kind of the songwriting process for this song? Yeah. So I wrote this with, uh, with Sean Frank, Itchy Healy, and a guy named Jensen Vaughn. Um, and Jensen was actually on Zoom. So it was like definitely a different vibe of a session. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we all met and then someone was playing this kind of indie guitar riff and then we really liked it. So we just looped it. And then we actually wrote the song in probably like three or four hours. It wrote itself really quickly. Um, oh my God. It's wild, but I feel like those songs are the best songs because they come out so organically and they're so fun. So we, we definitely didn't overthink it and we just kind of let, let the idea, um, kind of direct us in, into where it went. And we also like the play on words being sad, see someone happy. I've always been like just enamored with songwriters because my brain, I don't understand how people think and do that way. And I've heard people say, I wrote this song in 20 minutes. I wrote this song in an hour. So the fact that you can write such an amazing song in that short amount of time just blows my mind. Yeah, <laughs> but it goes both ways, I guess. Sometimes I won't write a song for like a month. I'm like, man, I need this. I need this inspiration. But yeah, there's no, it's very spontaneous for me. So where do you find that you normally get your inspiration for a song? Is it mostly personal experiences? Is it what's going on in your friend's life? Is it just things in the world? How does that work out where you notice something and you're like, I'm going to write a song about that? Yeah, I would definitely say my environment. So whether that is like my own experience, the people around me or um, things going on in the world. I mean, with COVID, I feel like now the music I'm writing is very based on just like, I'm quarantining alone. So just, there's so many like feelings involved. Um, but some really interesting music is coming out of that. But, but again, it, it's always different. Sometimes I'll be inspired by a movie I watch or a poem I read, but yeah, inspiration is, is everywhere. If you look for it. I put that on a tattoo or something. Let's go <laughs> inspirational. <laughs> So how old are you again? I know you're like in your prime right now. Like I am 22. Okay, 22. So yeah. when in your life did it hit you and you realized like songwriting and being a professional musician is my, my path? That's what I'm meant to do. Like what, does, does it hit you at a certain time? Did you know from the time you were learning how to speak? Like, hmm. Yeah, so I actually started writing, I believe I was 12 years old. Um, obviously the songs were very good, but I would just like pick up the guitar and write these little things. I remember every time I get home from school, I would like write about what happened in the classroom or what happened. At school. Um, and then obviously as you grow older and mature, you gain more experience. So I guess my writing became more in depth as I started to mature. So yeah, I, I've known I wanted to do this, I think from, from the get go, I, I can't see myself doing anything else. Wow, it took me a while to figure out what I want to do. So I feel like it's always so cool when someone's so young, 12 years old, realizing this is what I want to do. And look, you're following your dreams and you're literally like releasing new songs and you have an album coming later this year. Like that must feel so cool to like retrospect back and say, I did that. I followed yeah. my dream. I mean, it's cool to hear you say it kind of back to me too. I'm like, oh wait, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> and I feel like we get so wrapped up in our own lives. So when someone from the outside says to you, look at you following your dreams. You're like, oh, oh wait, I, I am doing that. <laughs> totally, totally. But awesome. yeah, definitely very grateful to be able to kind of still work right now during these crazy times. Yeah, I feel like your industry for sure, you can, you can write a song anywhere in your bedroom, like you said, over Zoom with your songwriter. So you're definitely lucky to be able to just do your craft literally anywhere. Yeah, totally. So if someone watching this right now if they've never heard your songs or just anything you've done in the past, how would you explain to them what your sound is like? 
I would say like electro pop is, is a good genre-ish. I think like it's such a hard question because I mean pop is so broad, right? So many things are pop, but um, I guess artist-wise, let's take Dua Lipa, mix it with Ed Sheeran, mix it with Ellie Goulding in a blender oh with some God. uniqueness. I don't know. <laughs> Your favorite people and then you mix it all up and you get Olivia. And I will yeah. say electro pop is the perfect way to describe Sad to See You Happy. Like the first thing that popped into my head when I listened to it is this song needs to be in a movie like opening montage or something like you know when like it's like a, a teen girl movie like I can just see it. it's like this such an empowering song that has such a good beat like I just can see it in a movie so you're aging think, or something they need to get it yeah. in a movie so, so, hey I would love that but um I think it's fun too because obviously the, the lyrics are slightly sad but it's as you said it's a very empowering kind of sarcastic like I'm sad too happy but I know at the end of the day it's like love over logic like it, it wasn't supposed to to be you know so yeah and I kind of love songs like that where the lyrics are deep they have a lot of meaning they can be sad but also the beat is so good and the guitar and everything yeah I like that it kind of evens out I love that because sometimes Thank you. sometimes you don't want to listen to a ballad like do you agree you're just not in the mood for a ballad yeah. not in the mood to cry but you still have those kind of this nostalgia brewing so it, it's yes. good way to <laughs> and I feel like you nailed that department. So whatever I want to be like in my feelings, but still have a good time. Olivia's my girl. <laughs> Thank you. I got you. <laughs> so I touched on this a little earlier. Uh, you do have an album coming later this year, right? Yes, I do. Okay. So I know you probably can't tell us too much, but is there anything you can kind of hint at or tell us what to expect and when it's coming? Yeah. So aim for June sometime. There's some floating dates going around. That is so soon. Um, June. Yeah. And, and this this is my debut album, so it's it's really exciting. I'm excited to have a project of more than one or two um, songs. I released an EP last year, but this really does if they can encapsulate me as an artist and at the stage of my life, and I'm just super excited to share. Debut album. That's insane. Yeah. That is so it's exciting. exciting. <laughs> I know. It's so exciting. You need to celebrate for sure. Um, so you're involved in, like you said, you, you're, you're a songwriter, you perform, you're a singer, you had music videos, like, what is your, do you have a favorite part of what you do? Like, can you even pin what your favorite part of your career is? That is hard. I mean, obviously, with COVID, we haven't been able to do lots of live shows, so I am yearning to just, like, make, make an interaction with, yeah. with someone uh, in an audience, but I definitely love the songwriting um, aspect of, of my career a lot recently, but again, it, it fluctuates. Different days, I, like, different things but I'd say I'm I'm an extrovert and introvert so at, at my core I like to kind of just like be alone with my thoughts and my feelings and and write a song I love that I think I'm the same way too so if you're not songwriting or singing or performing what do you like to do with your spare time what do you do good question I feel like through quarantine I have adopted so many new hobbies I like to cook now I'm super into same. wellness I like meditation I got a peloton recently I'm upset. Oh. Oh. Yeah, all, all things health and wellness. I'm, I'm definitely. <laughs> Can you share some motivation through the screen? Because yeah. uh, <laughs> all I do is literally play video games in my free time, which is like a lot of Netflix too. Lots of Netflix. I can't lie. Okay, go. We got to <laughs> even it out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, we are just so excited to see what you do the rest of the year. And the fact that you came out with a bang with your first song right now sad to see you happy we just can't wait to see what you have next and like you said hopefully yeah hopefully COVID is you know turning the corner and now you can hopefully get some performances in your near future because I know you're dying to see your fans absolutely no and thank you so much for taking this time to talk I'm super yeah. excited to go stream sad to see you happy of course and uh where can people find you so they can find out more about your music instagram tiktok do you have everything yeah all the above it's just at olivia lunny my last name is l-u-n-n-y awesome well thank you so much for talking with us today i know you've been to arizona in the past so when it's free and open come back we would Absolutely. love to have you of course deal it's, it's a date <laughs> okay even like don't don't come in like july maybe when it's 120 degrees out but We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. There we go. Okay. Thank you so much, Olivia, and congrats on your song. It's amazing. Thank you so much. See you. Thank you. Bye.